Dillos, they are moving into East Tennessee. Wildlife experts say they're on the hunt for insects that could be in your yard. 10 News reporter Lauren Davis is sharing what to do if you encounter this creature. The Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency says armadillos have been in Tennessee for about 30 years. And while they're mostly found in the western part of the state, they're making their way east. They're pretty much harmless to humans. Uh, they're kind of a novelty because people aren't used to seeing them around here and they find them very interesting. If you happen to see an armadillo, the TWRA says it's no cause for alarm. However, they can mean trouble for your lawn. There's uh, an open hunting season, which is year round and no limit on them if people wanted to uh, to hunt them because they do do a lot of damage to um, lawns and properties because they dig holes, make burrows underground. That's where they will sleep and where they will raise their young. While nine banded armadillos are found in the Tennessee wilderness, Zoo Knoxville has six banded armadillos, which are native to South America. The bands refer to their sort of plates on their back or sort of like almost like elastic bands on expanding waistbands. Uh, the ones that are native to the U.S. are nine banded. Sarah Glass also echoes that armadillos are harmless. She says she embraces the animal. If I saw one in my yard, I would enjoy it because I love armadillos. Um, they don't really offer a threat to anybody. Um, they've gotten a bad rap because um, Armadillos are the only other species beside humans that can carry leprosy. Leprosy can be spread from armadillos to humans. Although the risk is low, the CDC recommends people should avoid contact with the animal. In Knoxville, I'm Lauren Davis. Now, although armadillos could dig holes in your yard, they're not all bad. Animal experts say they do eat a lot of bugs and could keep pests out of your yard. Okay, I'll give them a pass then. <laughs> all right. Well, we